Hey guys, welcome back to Sherlock Holmes and our adventure. And I'll just start there. So I just saw these uh, as I was starting. These are uh, on this what clipboard or something on this. Uh, I don't really know where these images are off, but they look quite interesting. So yeah, I guess this is our this is our case at the moment. These have got mapped out. I don't actually know what this is, but yeah, I just kind of saw these and it looked kind of interesting. So I thought we'd start the video looking at them. Hang on, is this a tiger skin? And a violin. It's got a tiger skin as well. God, tiger skin, bear skin. I think I saw something else. Dog. I swear he had another skin as well. But anyway, guys, yeah, welcome back. Uh, there's nothing there. So, yeah, we've got to go. I don't know. Let's have a look. Can't actually remember. Okay, we've got lots of dialogues. Investigate the murder of Zachariah's gravestone. I don't actually know where we need to go at the moment. Is it back back to the club or nothing here? A map of London and its surroundings. We've got nothing on there. We need to look at nothing around there. What about over here? I don't think so. We just looked at that photo. It's useful for my work. Yeah, we just looked at that photo. Found there was a face, a missing uh, person. We've got nothing my to examine. I can always consult with it if needed. So I'm not sure maybe we need to go back to the club, I guess. Yeah, let's head back down to the club and see if we can't find anything. There's nothing like in here, is there? I think we need to go back to the club because we found that missing guy. So yeah, let's go back there and let's just see what happens when we get there. Um, I'm not sure if this is the right place we need to go next. I'm a little bit stuck in actually where to decide where to go. But we don't actually have that many options, so we'll go back to the club, obviously where it happened. And uh, see if the uh, the old geezer is there. I can't actually remember his name. Is it Sir Charles or something? That may be completely wrong. But find that we get there. It's been a couple of days since I have recorded um, this. As I was busy this weekend, so I did record a couple of episodes in advance. And that. But um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Just an interesting fact, actually. <laughs> Went to the gym the other day for the first time, probably like two months. And I can't strike my arms at the moment. <laughs> Haven't been able to do it for a couple of days, and I don't know why. Well, obviously my muscles hurt, and I can't sh actually straighten my arms. So, <laughs> yeah. This uh, so it could be interesting. Let's, so let's go over to him. See if he's got anything to say. Maybe back in the clubhouse. I actually don't know. I I can't remember what happened last episode. So I'm being brutally honest. If we got told about anything, but he might have something to say. So uh, let's let's see. Yes, he does. Yeah, people in a... Okay, let's just do the order. Order and order. Sir Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. Wait, so we can browse evidence, so... This. We've got this. We've got a telegram. What about the, yeah, okay, yeah, let's ask about the telegram. But in fact you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. You he raised liar. A about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. Okay, so we have no evidence to back to uh, dispute that then. So I guess when it comes up and he's talking, if you press this square, you can obviously challenge him because it means you've got evidence to uh, back up. Oh, I didn't mean that. So obviously you've got evidence to uh, back up that he's that he's wrong, I guess. So let's you talk to him about the collection. collection of your club with one disturbing thing in common. Oh. All the items are from our club members. There we go. Okay, browse. They're all from club members. Oh, there we go. Post mortem donation. Okay. That's the one. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Oh, we've got him. Uh, yes. 
But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. Okay, so this is what you missed out on last time when the square came up, but I didn't press it. So if now on, we are pressing that square button at every it, opportunity. Do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albeit. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple, and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias, and there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, he's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Oh, I think we might go and chat to him about that statue there in a minute. But yeah, let's, uh, let's find out where this other guy's collection is then, that went on that expedition. Albeit was a club member, where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. We never did locate it. Some part of me doesn't believe that. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at some clues then. So we've got... Uh, expedition... Facts about the court. Ah, ha, ha. So, the curse of the Tikkun Uman is real and is aimed towards the expedition members. The curse doesn't exist, it's simply the human in interpre interpretation of events. Interpretation of events. Excuse me. Let's, uh, let's say that word properly, shall we? So, there's, it, there's no way there's a curse. I don't know, some of you guys may believe in, maybe like like a uh, supernatural events and you know things like that like let me know if you know if you you know believe in that sort of stuff like supernatural events like, like that ghosts or you know some creepy stuff but you know I'll be honest I mean I mean ghosts is one thing you know they might exist they could well exist you know but um I don't believe this statue just suddenly came to life that you know that that stuff seems to only happen in films if I'm being honest you know, no, it just it just can't happen. So for me, no curse. So that's what we're, that's what we're going to go with. And that doesn't. Oh, so prepared and no curse. What did we say over here? Let's have a look. So Charles had the time machine to be prepared for his fixing visit. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. So Charles is aware of the curse. He had the perfect opportunity. So Charles is unaware of the existence of the curse. Opportunity doesn't make him a murderer. No, I think he knows about that. And I reckon he used it to his advantage. So he's probably like... I reckon he's. I reckon that statue is hidden somewhere. He's hid the statue. He's taken advantage to make people believe that the statue somehow killed Zacharias. But I don't think it was a statue. But if we say that, I think it means he's aware of the curse. He can sort of pin it on the statue, on the curse, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's uh, go with that. Wait, so we've got Sir Charles is guilty already? Sir so Charles Yellington is the killer. He took advantage of the curse's legend in order to kill Zachary's grace twin and so obtaining the dead man's antique collection. Sir so Charles merely imagined the running statue to cover his crime so Charles killed for money and power to obtain Zachariah's antique collection he must go to prison so Charles killed under the pressure of being in considerable debt he is, he is a prisoner of his own life who is under pressure of career and family or we can continue the investigation oh my god god I didn't expect him to a conclusion this quick We've only been doing this this uh, chapter for what three videos? This must be this is like the third of well, this is the fourth video I think. I do think he's guilty though. I think he's guilty. But I don't think he killed for money and power. I think he killed like the absolve Sir Charles that one because he's under pressure because he is in a lot of debt. I mean, if we're gonna say it's him, we are gonna go for a square. So if we continue, I assume we've got to the conclusion he's guilty, that we can pursue that and charge him when when we like. But I believe it's him. 
Because I don't know if there's any right or wrong answers in this game. Or or what? Like I I actually I don't I don't understand. Like no there is, so Oh, what should we do guys? It's a big decision. I think he's guilty. I think he's guilty. Everything leads to him. Like I think he used that statue to his advantage. But we could go talk to the geezer that um did the statue. And see what he says about the statue. And then if we're depending on what he says, we can then charge him, I think. Still, because we got to that conclusion. We've got evidence to suggest this, so let's continue. Yeah, so we can charge him if we wish, but let's continue. And uh, as it's absolutely j started absolutely chucking it down outside the window next to me. As uh, the noises I've just started hearing. So and let's go over because we've uh, gonna yeah we're gonna go learn about more about him and about I assume here say something about the statue. Depending on what he says about the statue, it might lead us to uh, actually charge him. So oh, it's this this guy in the green jacket, then, I guess. Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too oh, dangerous. It state, don't I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Eight hey, Grub Street, London. Okay, let's just let's go great to Grub Street then. Pay him a visit. This is interesting. He can't talk about that in. He has to talk about it in private, so then something must have gone on. He, he could be hiding something. Maybe if we took the correct. Maybe. Wait, wait. But maybe if he's. This is getting in, This is getting deep now. This is getting deep. But maybe if he's in control, or not in control. I mean, if he knows about the statue, then maybe. He. Oh, look, maybe he used that to his advantage and he killed Zacharias. Because maybe something happened on this expedition. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of possibilities here now. Man, I do like this game. It just goes into some good depth. It makes me, uh, yeah, <laughs> think of a lot of possibilities that could happen and outcome. Kind of makes you imagine, you know, what it's like to actually be a. Uh, this is Keys and Street. Makes it imagine what it's like to be an actual, like, actually be a detective, especially in this time, with, uh, especially about the, uh, like, resources and, like, Equipment that we have now. Okay, it's nowhere down there. So yeah, that's a yeah, it's probably a very difficult job back in these times to be a detective because now the equipment, you know, the resources and things you can use to actually analyse stuff. Keaton Street. Gump. Right, where we go? We're going Grub Street. Wait, we travelled to Grub Street, so why isn't this... Hang on. This isn't Grub Street, though. This is... Can we... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, this... That's the... 8 Grub Street, yeah. It does walk slow. I, I wish we could run. Oh, I didn't mean that. Oh, do we have anything else to do? Sorry. No. Okay, so at the moment we've got Sir Charles is guilty. This is Keaton Street, yes. Keaton Street. I don't know what they just said. Yeah, so we do need to go. I don't know. We're just going to look, look around. He's got more hair on his face than he has on the top of his head. That geezer. Okay, I don't know how, why he walks so slow. Bit of third person. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew, no, but um, oh, we don't know, we don't know, because I don't know if I actually know what that is. Uh, Gumbled Road, Keaton Street. I don't know which way to go. We will go down here. Um, yeah, you can actually do third person in this game, as you can see. So yeah, we haven't actually done much with third person, but I kind of, I kind of like it first person, to be honest. First person floats my boat. Okay, what's this called? Possum Street? Possum Street or something? I 
I don't know. What's down here? <laughs> We're definitely going to get lost. Oh. No, that's like 16. This is still Keaton Street. What? Awesome Street, yeah. Okay, so maybe maybe a left down here. I mean, I'd be good if we could actually go to that guy and you know ask him directions. That'd be awesome. I thought I said Granny Street for a second. <laughs> Cranny Street, okay. What's it say up there? Probably, probably the same, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Guys, guys, I have no, idea, no idea where I'm going. I wish we could run. Oh, we can run. <laughs> we can run. Bernard Marley. Oh, hello. The Bernard Marley Foundry. Perfect. Who's this? Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, oh, he's in his office. It's the door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. Fresh scratches. There were two large boxes. Oh my god, the statue's been a... A drawing of Takunu Man. Oh yeah, we want to open that. Oh my god, there's a... No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. Was there something on the back? This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. Okay. 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 Furnace for melting metal. Yeah, furnace for melting metal, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, let's have a look, look around then. Is there anything else we can... Uh... Oh, so I don't know that's him over there. Oh, more scratches here. Hang on. Can we examine these? No? Okay. Okay. What's that? There's a horse without a head. Obviously, you know, not a real horse. That's weird. <laughs> you might have been able to tell yourselves. Whoa, it looks like... Okay, that's his office. I kind of want to talk to this guy. See, I don't know if anything's going to happen by talking to him, but we'll see. We'll see. Hello there, my man. Is your boss? Oh, just the same question. Sorry, okay. I'm too busy to chat. Wait, so this leads into his office? Something large and heavy was dragged here. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takunu Man's statue. Yeah, quite possibly. That's a. Uh... Let's go inside and say hello. Mr. Holmes, you must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Huh. Reassuring. So yeah, we're we'll asking about Zacharias, I guess. Nothing else we can ask about. Actually, we could do the portrait, couldn't we? Let's uh, let's do like the portrait and examine him. What he uh, what he looks like. Oh my goodness! I just dropped my controller. Sorry, guys. I just need to put my laptop on charge because. Yeah, because it's run out of charge. That's why I don't know if you could hear me properly a second ago. But yeah, I was just having to quickly put that on charge. So, because uh, it was about to die, and that <laughs> would have quite honestly ruined the recording. So, yeah. What's this in his chest then? Horseshoes. Protective charms. Okay. That kind of links in, I guess, charms. Yeah. 
Lean's freaked on desk, okay. Oh, is, is that, was he like burnt himself or something? Smell of oil, okay. Is that where it's got the green, green light stuff coming off? Anything on here? No. Yeah, like goggles, glasses. My myopic. I don't actually know what it is, but we're gonna go for a quite a close work. Ah, he's got a blaster. Intricate work works with rough, rough objects. Well, he does. So yeah, we're gonna go for that. And there should be one more thing. I've got grease on his uh on his collar. Yeah, that works for me. It looks a little bit like Sir Charles in a way. <laughs> Imprecise character portrait. Okay, so we need to change these. Okay, yeah, yeah, carry on. Quite a close work, right with rough objects. So if we change this to. Oh, we, we can't change it? Okay. Okay, let's just ask Did about Zacharias then. Zacharias Greystoke, the victim. Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why you have to what happened to the photograph. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You a friend? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. The, sorry, the what? Kiche gods, did he say? I don't actually know who they are, but you know. And what's the about the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple. Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles's stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekun Uman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit its disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias's death. The curse has reawakened. After 14 years. Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Wait, so he believes in the curse as well? That the curse was related to the other guy's death? This is this is really messing with my brain. <laughs> this is really Did messing with my brain, guys. Believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief, don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that we could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. Well, that would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how. Oh. So he says he's got you know, personal ambitions of himself and obviously he must need money for that, obviously according to him as well and somehow he continues to find it which, which amazes him so that also leads me to believe he did still kill him because that would mean he'd get more money to pursue his own like ambitions so uh, yeah let's just see what he's got to say about Tikkun Uman What's your opinion on Tikkun Uman's statue having disappeared? I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. 
Oh, you definitely do, mate. You definitely do. Um, I've got delivery of the statue found. It's built ten years ago by you. Statue creation, absolutely. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No, it's Takun Umar. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Takun Umar? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Takun Umar. Well, goodbye then. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. Oh my god, he's definitely hiding something. We can't convict. Okay, so we got something, but yeah. Oh, hello. Apparently, Marley has built multiple statues of Takunuma. Okay, so where do we go then? Break into Marley's office at night with Watson. Okay, so I guess if we go out and back to our place, it will go to night. And uh, we'll be able to come back here. First of all, let's just see what this, this uh, sign says. Horse of Pedro Alvarado. He was a conquistador, I believe. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna. I don't want to walk out just in case something happens. And that. But yeah, when we come back, we'll uh, just travel back to our apartment and then uh, I guess we'll come back here with, with Watson and uh, break into this office. And I think we're gonna find something very interesting or important to us because I'm not gonna convict Sir Charles yet because something makes me believe this guy's a little bit dodgy as well and I'll find out more about him. So yeah, with that being said, guys, we did sort of come to. We came to half a conclusion. But I don't know if I'm convinced by this guy, this Bernard guy. So we're going to try and find out a little bit more about him first before making our big decision. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. And I'll see you next time.